Hi guys, Jace here. Today we're going to talk about tire inserts. Why do you want to use a tire insert? Well, it's for one, punch of protection, protect those hoops. So if you've got some carbon rims, definitely protect those. And also some manufacturers say it's for shock absorption qualities. Why did I want to try them? Well, it was mainly for um, puncher protection and stage races and XC marathon races. And what I didn't want to happen is affect my performance or have to stop during a race to change a tire or even worse, a ding a rim. And then I would have to push and walk home. I deliberated over a long while whether I should get um, tire inserts, mainly because of the extra weight, especially around your rim where you don't want it, which will affect the rolling resistance. Now, I first of all thought I would get Cushcore, so I bought some Cushcore XCs, which are here. Now, these are 150 grams each and are about 70 euros in total. Now, I was just about to put them on my bike when I came across some Tubolite inserts. Now, the Tubolite inserts are here. They are the Evo, they're called, Evo SL, this version is. And these are reported to be 58 grams. I did wear them at 66 grams, I believe. And they were only 40 euros, so a lot cheaper. Even though I had the other ones, I decided that these would be worth a risk because the weight is half the weight of the Cush Core. And I thought, why not give them a go? So what I did is throw them in my front wheel and on my back wheel. Now let's look at the difference between these two tire inserts. The gray one is the Cush Core. The blue one is the Tubo Light. So the gray Cush Core is thinner, more dense. The Tubo Light is thicker and it is also less dense and lighter. It's also got an air channel. You may just be able to see that through the center of it and also on the top of it, which the manufacturers say make it lighter and it pushes air from one compartment to the other, which is supposedly there to give them better rolling resistance. But who knows about rolling resistance? It's pretty hard to test. Now I've done about 250 kilometers on them and uh, roughly about 20 hours of riding. So let's have a look at how I rate them. Now I rode the bike over multiple terrains. So here you can see it's pretty rocky. I reduced my PSI from what I normally do. I'd normally have about 20 in the rear, 21 in the rear, 19 or 20 in the front. So I reduced it to 19 in the rear, 18 in the front, and it seemed to work pretty well. I think I could even gone lower and you can see it's pretty rocky and rooty here I had no problems no punches and no dings and also I found that uh, it was rolling pretty well especially down the hills the grip was really good here we are totally different terrain and I could have reduced the PSI by uh, and I should have won more on the front and rear because it was a little bit slick because uh, it had been raining for a few days before and it was rooty there was some flowy single track but uh, there were roots involved as well and I did wash out the front wheel on a loose bit of dirt so uh, that affected my descending on this race a little bit but overall really happy with the, the tubo lights and um, they did the job protected the rim no punches not even the sign of a puncher on this or any dings so it was great so now I'm going to change my tire and put the tubo light back in. Tubo light's in there. You have to use a valve core because it takes ages to get the air out of it. But other than that, it's pretty good. Tire lever is close to the valve. It makes it easier. And you can see all of the sealant, I think, is still in there. So the tubo light didn't absorb any of it. It was pretty easy to take out in the end. And I'm just showing you it now because looking at it, it hardly affected it at all. There's hardly any dings in there, a little bit of fraying on one side, but other than that, it was fine. So I'm just going to wash it off now and, and let it dry and also wash off the tire because you don't want any sealant left in the tire before I 
change the tyre and uh, put the tuber light back in. A fresh tyre and for the rear, the Thunderbird because the next race is really quick. Placing the tuber light around the rim, right into the centre. It's a little bit tight but goes in pretty easily in the end, making sure it's in the channel in the middle. Now just put one side on and the trick is there just to push the bead right into the center which will give you a bit more slack in the tire to get right into the end and just use the tie levers just to finish it off into that last bit. So pushing all around to make sure it goes into the channel and then using the tie lever. And then using the sealant and then pump it up and there we go. In discussion then, I think for me, doing the XC Marathon rides, the Tubalite was the perfect um, choice. I think in the future, I will just put it on the back wheel. I don't get punches that often. And I think now with a modern tire, tubeless and good sealant, you're pretty rarely gonna get punches. I think if you do suffer from punches though, definitely throw one in the front and the back. And if you're doing XC and you're a light rider, you probably don't need them. If you're doing XC and you're a heavy rider, then why not put one in the back? It's not much weight penalty there. I think if you're an enduro rider or you're riding on rocky terrain, put an insert in. If you are going to a bike park like Whistler and it's rocky, definitely, I would definitely, when I go back there, put inserts in probably Kushko front and back. I've seen too many people ding their rims, get punches, and it ruins their day. If you're an XC or Enduro rider and you change tires often, it could be a faff having those inserts in. As you saw, it was a little bit of faff when I changed the tires. Uh, it was better than I expected, but still it's gonna add uh, another 10, 15 minutes onto your tire change. So that has to be taken into consideration. Personally, I'm gonna put tire inserts on an e-bike, which I'm picking up in a few weeks time. The e-bike's got a motor on it. It's 19 kilos. So I'm not gonna notice that much difference on the rolling resistance and on the wheel. I think it's gonna, if it's gonna save me from punches or it's gonna save me ding in the rims, then it's a no brainer really for those e-bikes. In conclusion then, inserts probably aren't for everyone. I think if you're a rider that suffers from punches or a rider that is concerned that you are doing XC stage races and you want that extra bit of protection, throw them in there. I think a tire insert could be for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon.